Hello and welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to give you guys the specs for this famous, not famous, transfer case gear oil. Very expensive stuff. Is it worth the money? Or can I use alternative? Where I get, I get a question from from my subscribers. Can I use this instead of that? Can I use M Soil 75 double 90 instead of this? Well, we're gonna find out. Can we use this? Is there an alternative to this? Is this Toyota transfer case gear oil any good? Should you be using your Toyota or Lexus vehicle? So, let's begin. First, price. 80 plus dollars for the can. A metal can. Well, that's 70s technology. I'm not sure why we wanna use 70s technology in 21st century modern technology vehicles you know makes sense no to me but apparently Toyota thinks that's a smart idea to use it there is a problem with this how do you open well took a clean screwdriver punch the hole can you see it yes is that the proper way well a teacher back in the days in school used to say to the class, there is more than more than one way to skin a cat. So there's more than, more than one way to open this can. Whatever works, you use it. You know, it comes down to personal preference. So let me give you the specs, give you more details. To find this oil is not that easily. This gear oil, not every dealer carries. Pour it. It's very thin oh, because the vacuum. Like an olive oil. Very thin oil. So I think that's enough. For demonstration purposes, very thin oil. As you can see, it flows very easily. You know, it's not even it's about 40 degrees inside the garage right now. Very flows easily. So comparing to 75W90, let's compare. Let's add this and compare and show you guys how much this is thicker. What's most important is to look at the specs. When I went to a dealer, my local dealer, it's a big dealership in a bigger city. When I asked for this 75W, he laughed at me. And then the guy who's been working for a dealer for many years, he used to race, actually he's an older gentleman now. He's like one of the best parts guys in my area where I have in probably 20 miles radius, probably seven, eight different Toyota dealers. A lot of Toyota dealers, big, small, you know, this is a, one of the biggest Toyota dealerships. And he laughed when I said for 75W. He's like, he laughed and I will share it later in this video why he laughed. So let me show you the specs. So to find the specs for this 75W gear oil is, is impossible. I could not find, I emailed, any dealer that sold this product and they said we don't have any anything for it either they were lying to me or they truly did not have any specs for it so I could not find anything so my only option was send it to the lab so I took a sample sent it to the lab this is what came back from the lab as you can see it's a fresh fluid there is zero miles there's few things I want to highlight that I found interesting or Kind of strange and surprisingly, there is a wear metals in this fresh, brand new, $80 plus a quart of fluid. Should there be iron of two parts per million? It's, it's I wouldn't consider a problem or a concern for the iron tube. That's, it's a leaking. As they say, it's the, because it was in a can. That's normal. Aluminum. That's that's a scary number. Six, I have no good answer as to where is this aluminum coming from. How is this wear metal aluminum is end up in a fresh brand new oil? Do not know. Look at it. that's something you know what I mean to look at it. You know, you buying an eighty dollar quart of oil and it has wear metals already in it? That's strange to me. That shows you that it's not a quality fluid as you would think for $80. That should be a gold standard, you know what I mean? A fluid should be a perfect fluid. But, 
maybe that's the reason why specs for this fluid is not available online. Let's look at something else. Contaminants. Contaminant metals. Silicon. Eight is pretty good number. Sodium one. Potassium is one. You know, it's not a big deal. But eight. So what is it? What am I buying? What are people buying? They buying quality fluid? I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't say it's a quality fluid when you have so much stuff is in it already and you can read the rest of the stuff. All the numbers if you're interested, you know. But let's look at something that we're going to compare to others. Viscosity 5.7. What interesting. There is even water 0.1% in it. You know, is that normal? I don't know. I haven't done much research. To say that it's normal to have water in brand new fresh fluid, I can see if this was, uh, you know, a used gear world that was in a vehicle for maybe 30, 40, 50, maybe 100,000. I can say, yeah, condensation, moisture, that's normal. But in a fresh brand new fluid? Are you kidding me? I don't know. I can't say that it's normal. I'm just, you know, on a caution side. I'm very interested to know more about this fluid. As time progresses, maybe I'll get a sample of used one and we'll compare to the new one and compare to other brands. So, like I said, dealer left. The parts guy, experienced guy left when I asked for this 75W. He's like, we don't even use in our customers' vehicles this stuff. Can you, can you believe this? I was like, what? Am I hearing this correctly? He's like, we do not use this stuff. We use just a 75W90 instead of 75W. I'm like, ha, strange. To myself, I'm like, dealers don't even use? That's the reason why they don't even sell. Only few that have it. And maybe these are the mega dealers that have this fluid. Because even to find online, it's not that easy. You, know, you can't go to any dealers. Only certain dealers that sell this. Of course, any dealer can order it from you know other places, maybe warehouse. But, surprisingly, surprisingly, question is, do those 2014 and up transfer cases in Tundras and where they uh, fell? Absolutely. Before I purchased my Tundra, I seen even older Tundras, you know, from 2007 through 2013 with, with failed transfer cases. Why they fail? Well, la there's two things. Lack of uh, fluid changes. And the second reason? Uh, driving in four-wheel drive, you know, abusing it, driving on a drive pavement. Because if you read the owner's manual, it says do not drive your Tundra on drive pavement in four-wheel drive. People do. Well, that's the two reasons why they fail. And, you know, either you use thicker wheel fluid, it will fail, or you use thinner fluid, it will fail. When you're not using it as it's designed to be used, of course it's going to fail. And if you're not going to change the fluids as you're supposed to change every 30, 40,000, when it comes to gear oil or transmission fluid, of course they're going to fail. Of course things are going to wear out. No fluid can last a lifetime. If fluid can last a lifetime, dealers will give a lifetime warranty. And, use, and there will be no need for used parts. They will be worthless. If you go on eBay and look for the transfer case and have expensive used transfer case for Tundras, it doesn't matter what year it is. Why so expensive? Because they fail. There is a demand for it. Demand drives the price increase. So, can I use the alternative? Can I use 75W90? Well, good question. You know what I mean? I don't have a good answer for this. Dealer said they use it. Would I use it? I would give it a try. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I would use it or not. You know, I don't have a Tundra 2014 and up. You know what I mean? So, it's hard for me to say. I might give it a try. Drive it for a year, send it to the lab, see the results. Because I do not know the, because there are two different transfer cases, you know, two different companies designed, and I'm not sure how 2014 and now how different the internals of this transfer case. Is it designed for thinner fluid? And if you run thicker fluid, will it fail? Will it cause more wear? Do not know, you know, I don't know how those details and that this information is not available. So if you're interested and you really want to learn, support my channel to, through Buy Me a Coffee. Like I said, are there alternative fluids can you use? There is two companies. Yes, there is two companies that are available and you can use their products. How good these products or how bad they are, I do not know. I can only share the specs, but in terms of which one is better, the quality, the performance, I do not know. 
an American company, Red Line, right there. Red Line, you can see, you can read the specs. It's recommended, you know, they recommend for Toyota. Here is another things that I highlighted that you want to know, that you probably care more. Viscosity, 6.5 at 100C. When we look at the Toyota Viscosity, it was a different numbers. Look at the pull point, minus 60. Interesting. Very interesting numbers. Remember those numbers because you, we're going to look at it later. So that's one company that makes it. There's only a few companies. There might be other companies that I make, but these are the more readily available, well-known companies. And I guess they sell them on Amazon and eBay. There's another company. Let's look at this another company. Here's another company. Right there is the name. Revenue. Revenue, if I'm pronouncing correctly. Pull point minus 48 what did we see with the red line minus 60 look at the viscosity at 100 c 7.4 so 40 is thicker so two companies very often people think well 75 double they all should have same specs no there is no company that have exactly same specs when it comes to standards for automotive fluids doesn't matter what fluid is, there is always a minimum and a maximum. And it's up to company to make the decision, either to make it, majority of companies meet the minimum. That's why this company has Viscosity 7.4. Previous red line had 6.5. So which one is better? I do not know which one is better. You know, without looking more at the chemistry, without running tests, it's hard to say which fluid is better. You can go with the Reveno, Redline, you can go with Toyota, maybe there's some other brands. And let me show you something else. So here is a small comparison chart that I kind of drew. As you can see, there's a Toyota, 75W fluid, viscosity, and pull point. Lab did not provide a pull point, unless I would pay more money to get uh, additional testing done, then they can provide. There is no pull point. Uh, and see, you know what I mean, that what's the, how low temperature can drop and fluid can still be, be fluid, can flow. Do not know. As you can see, the Toyota 75 double is the thinnest fluid out there available as of now. Red line, a little bit thicker. Revenue is even thicker more. And then to comparison, uh, I'm so 75 double in 90 is either double or triple depending on which fluid you look at the, the viscosity. Look at the pull point for 75W90. It flows very well. If you look at the revenue, which is almost, yeah, two times thinner, and it's only to minus 48, my question is, how good is the quality of this fluid? Are the number is really truly 7.4 for this revenue? I doubt. You know why? Because of the pull point something strange i think it's much thicker than not putting and here is the thing i don't think uh, i want to mention this information is very difficult to find for revenue red line they don't post this on their website red level you have to search for it to be able to find it msoil has for every product they sell this information is available toyota you can't even find anything i could not find on this fluid it was strange so red line makes more sense minus 60 that's definitely in line with the 6.5 viscosity at 100C. How often will the fluid get to 100C? It's about 212 Fahrenheit. Uh, it can be in the summertime, yeah, it will be there around 200 degrees. I can see no problem, maybe 212, 100, no doubt. So, is thinner better? Well, if you live somewhere up north, you know what I mean, like where your temperatures really get cold, definitely having a thinner fluid for the transfer case 2014 and up will be beneficial i think because this is what the uh, you know manufacturer says and i'm not sure the internal design if there will be a problem i know they have a pump on inside the transfer case can a pump handle thicker fluid is there going to be an issue with lubrication aware it's unknown question is can i use 75w90 you can use it will i have problems i do not know can I use Redline? Sure, you can use Redline. Can, can you use Re Reveno? You can use Reveno. Personally, I would not use Toyota 75W. The cost and seeing how much junk in it, uh, unless it was like a $20 can, 
then you'll be like, yeah, that's fine. Not a big deal. But $80 for a can? And how do you pour that can into the transfer case? You have to pour it in some other container. So that becomes a, uh, a challenge of its own. You gotta find a clean container, something that you have to transfer the fluid. It, it's just more work at that point. $80, then there should be a pump provided with it. It does not even worth considering. Red line, Revenol, sure. Whatever brand you choose, just change it more often. It's thinner. Plus, this fluid is only a fraction of what Toyota costs. I'll post the links. You know, change your fluid more often. On those um, 2014 and up transfer cases, be careful with a fill and drain plug uh, so you don't crack the case. Do more research because they don't have the typical Toyota design when it comes to plug with a washer. It uses a different design, like all, all, the, all domestic vehicles, Ram, Chevy, and Ford. It doesn't matter what brand you choose, either Redline American or Revenal German brand, or you use thicker fluid like M-Soil, whatever you choose, change more often. If you live up north, don't even bother considering thicker fluids. So if I missed something or if you have additional questions, drop me in the comment section. Thank you and have an awesome day.